Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing today. I'm Mystical, and today I'll be bringing you a video on how to mod the latest Beat Saber version on your Quest devices. It's been a while since we've made a video like this, and as a matter of fact, I've had to call the previous videos outdated because they were causing people issues. As well as Quest, I will also be showing you guys how to mod PC VR Beat Saber. I think it'll come in handy to have a video kind of all in one. The process now is a whole ton easier than it used to be, and I cannot wait to show this to you. So, as usual, you have chapters down below to skip to any specific part of this video that you might be most interested in, and with that being said, let's get right into it. As I mentioned earlier, this is going to be unbelievably simple. All you're going to need is a computer with a web browser, and then on that web browser, I'm using Chrome, you're going to want to go to Mods Before Friday. The website link will of course be down in the description below to make your life easier. Then on that page, as you can see here, you're going to want to press Connect to Quest. And this is the part where it's important that you have developer mode already enabled on your Quest. You may get a prompt inside your device to allow debugging from this computer. So make sure to accept that in case you do. Mods Before Friday will also tell you if that is the case. Once you accept it, your quest should pop up in the top left in a little window that says paired, and then you can press connect. As you can see here, now Mods Before Friday is going to ask you to downgrade your Beat Saber version. This is important because the latest versions of Beat Saber are usually not moddable. So with Mods Before Friday, it can download the latest moddable version for you and mod it. So as you can see here, all you need to do now is press mod the app, and it is going to find and download the latest moddable version and then mod it for you, as well as of course installing it on your quest. As you can see here, applying patch, this may take a few minutes, uh, so I will get right back to you once this is done. And there you go. After a few minutes, the app is now modded, and you can see the Mods Before Friday dashboard. In this dashboard, it's actually super simple, you can access your mods or add new mods, and down here there's a list of mods that are available through Mods Before Friday. If you want to upload anything like a custom song or a custom mod, you can do that through Upload Files. Unfortunately, the two most popular mods are currently not available for the latest version of Beat Saber, which are Chroma and Noodle extensions. They are not yet working, so any maps that you install that require those mods will unfortunately not play. You will need an older version of Beat Saber in order to be able to play those. But you can see here, I'm now going to go through the list and install the mods that I want to try out inside this Beat Saber instance. Very, very simple. All you do is you press install and that will install the mod for you as well as apply it to the game. Mods like the song list and the song downloader come pre-installed already with mods before Friday, meaning that you don't need to worry about installing those. Let's launch Beat Saber and try it out. See if this really works and is as simple as this. So here we are, let's fire up Beat Saber on our quest and jumping into the game, you can instantly tell that to the left, you now have a bunch of menus. This includes custom models where you can change models from your sabers, that is as long as you installed that mod of course, and you have the better song search, or again, if you installed this one. If you don't, you'll just have the song browser. In here, you can search, find songs and download them, and then they will get added to your game automatically. So let's add a few songs and then let's jump into solo and um, play a few custom songs just to make sure that everything works. As you can see here, everything is working absolutely flawlessly. I obviously cannot play this music for reasons because, uh, you know, copyright. But as you can see, everything is working. Now, I have noticed with modded Beat Saber on the quest, sometimes it will miss a few blocks here and there. Yes, I know this could be chalked up to it uh, just being an excuse for my crappy gameplay, but it is just what I have found. This doesn't happen half as much on the PC variant, but it just seems that uh, on the quest, adding too much of certain things causes the game to uh, slip a little bit. And there you go, that's basically it. This is how simple it is nowadays to mod Beat Saber on the quest. Let me know if you have any issues with this one down below or even better on the Discord and hopefully I will be able to help you out. So now let's move on to PC modding. This is going to be unbelievably simple and might actually be easier than the quest modding part. Obviously, first thing out of the way, you will need to own Beat Saber either on Steam or on the Oculus Store. Once you have that, you're pretty much good to go. You don't need to download it or install it, as the software we're going to be using for this install will actually download the latest moddable version for you. So the software we're going to be using is Beat Saber Manager. And as of this video, the latest version is 
4. So you may be on a newer version by the time you're actually watching this. The link to the site that you want to visit is going to be in the description below, and you want to scroll down and press on the .exe file, since we're going to be modding this on Windows. Once the file has downloaded, you want to install it like you would any other Windows application. Press on the exe file and just follow the steps. Then once the app launches, give it a place where you want it to actually install everything and select the version that you want to download. For us, it's going to be the latest moddable version as of 2025, which is 1.40.8. So just press on that and then press download. Once you press download, it's going to give you a little page that'll ask you whether you want to sign in with Oculus or with Steam. I'm signing into Steam, so I'm going to scan this QR code with my Steam Guard app. And then once I've done that, you can see the game has started downloading. And you can tell by the little status bar at the bottom with the happy little Beat Saber block. Once the game has downloaded and installed, you will be able to find it in the top left of your sidebar. So pressing on that, you then want to go to the mods tab. You also have maps and models here in case you want to import any of those, but pressing on mods, you'll get a little disclaimer and then you'll get a list of mods that you can install. We're obviously first going to install the essentials, which is like Beat Saber downloader, etc, etc. You know, just these standard Beat Saber mods that you need in order for every other mod to function. However, here we will also get to download Chroma and Noodle extensions, something that we were not able to download in the Quest version. I'm also going to download a few cosmetic mods here. As you can see, everything is nicely categorized inside this app. And while those install, I'm going to go up to the search bar and search for Chroma. As you can see, it's right here, so I can select it. And I'm also going to search for Noodle extensions. Once I press on that, you can press install or update, and that will install the mods that you have chosen to your Beat Saber instance. That's it. That's that's how simple this is. So there you go. Now let's jump in to Beat Saber and see whether all of our mods are truly working on Steam. So firing up Steam VR link on our quest, from here what you will see is that Steam doesn't actually know Beat Saber is installed. So what you want to do is you want to launch the Beat Saber manager and then from the manager you want to select the version you modded earlier and press launch. This will launch Beat Saber and you can add it to Steam as a non-Steam game and it will play that way. However, because it wasn't installed through Steam, Steam doesn't know it's installed. Jumping straight into Beat Saber, you will see that we have all the menus that we had on Quest. So let's jump right into the song browser, download a few custom songs, especially ones with Chroma and Noodle extensions. As you can see here, I've downloaded a few songs and they are working absolutely perfectly. With that added benefit of being able to run both Chroma and Noodle extensions. That and the graphics fidelity being possibly just a little bit better as it usually is with PC. So there you have it. That's how simple that one is. So, there you guys go. That is how simple it is to mod Beat Saber both on Quest and on PC VR in 2025. Super happy to be able to bring this brand new tutorial to you guys, as the other ones were kind of outdated and I was kindly asked to uh, essentially call them outdated because a bunch of people were watching them and, you know, having issues with them. So it's nice to have an up-to-date tutorial, especially when it makes our lives so much easier. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any issues, let us know in the Discord that you can find down below or uh, in the comment section, I guess. I will also leave a link to the Beat Saber modding Discord down below in case you guys want to join that. And as usual, if you like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you're not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and our Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spicy memes and thank you so so much to all the patrons supporting this channel you guys are what makes content like this possible and thank you so so much for your support and you know the drill as usual if you want to be notified content if you want to be notified of content coming up on the channel smack that subscribe with your for dimabella skin next video peace <laughs>